Hey guys, Lando here. I'm just gonna be doing the same thing as I did the last video. Pretty sure. So I found out what it's called. Whenever I just talk about my life, it's called a vlog. Now, <laughs> you're probably thinking, you didn't know what a vlog was? Well, I mean, I did, but I just never really. I, I mean, I always heard the word vlog, vlog everywhere, vlog this, vlog that, but I not, I didn't know what it meant. So I didn't really care. I was just focusing on other things, really. <sighs> to be honest, I'm very isolated from the world. The only thing I really got is school, my house, my neighborhood. There ain't no kids in my neighborhood. It's just a bunch of older people. So I'm... I wouldn't say I'm lonely. I just don't have a... A lot of people to talk to or anything. Or no one to go out and hang out with, which, I mean, I, I mean, I can get any friend I want. It's just that, because <laughs> a lot of people know that I'm a nice guy and a lot of people like me. It's just that. I don't mess around with them because I don't like the things they do and how they act. Like, a lot of people act very inappropriate and do things just to make other people mad for no reason. And I don't, They just do a lot of bad stuff that I don't like. So I just don't hang out with them. And I'm a little bit older than people in my grade and I act more mature. So whenever I talk about stuff, they don't really know what I'm talking about. Like I can talk about my future and what I'm gonna do and have a serious conversation though like uh everything I just said was a joke. I just I don't know. I just hate it whenever you talk about something serious or you're just trying to have a decent conversation and they talk about uh women and stuff and interrupt you all the time. I don't I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but that's just how everybody is in my school. You just can't be serious with them. Which, <laughs> every person I talk to, I take everything seriously. Someone can tell me a joke, and I'll find it offensive. And then they tell me that it was a joke, and then I'll be like, oh, I did not know that. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe they're just making fun of me. I don't. I. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing for people to act so inappropriate around me. Maybe it's just who they are. Or they just doing that because they know I don't like it. But why would someone do something just because you don't like it? You never done nothing to them. So why would they do it? I guess it's just for their enjoyment to make them feel better about themselves. Because they don't have their life planned out, I guess. I don't, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you think this building's even? No, oh, it don't matter. I guess I'll just go over one and put another light. We need a lot of light. These sea lanterns do not provide a lot of light. I'm just going to seal this off right here. I like my buildings to be very bright. I mean, it gives me a headache after a while, but I mean, it's better doing that than having dark spots all over the place. Anyway... So since I can't talk to the people at school, I just come on here and feel like someone's taking me seriously. I don't know. I just feel comfortable talking on here. No one's here to laugh at what I say or all that. Yet again, I know I sound like I'm in my 20s, but I'm, I'm only 13. I'm about to turn 14, but I know if I sound like a kid, I act like a kid, it's because I am. 
You know, if I think about it, that's probably why they don't take me seriously. It's just because they're kids. They just don't care about what I have to say. I don't. I don't know, but yet whenever they talk seriously to me, I care about what they say, and then I talk seriously to them. But whenever I want to talk serious, they don't care. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> I don't know. I guess there just ain't no figuring it out. It's just it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, point, point. All right. Uh, next. I think I'll probably finish off the lobby. I think this will be a lobby. I'm not sure what the next <laughs> building's gonna be yet. Cause that's the uh, government building right now. Which after this, I might make it something else. But I'm planning on putting like a secret base in it or something like that. Create one. Skip one, two, put another door. Skip one, two, put another door. Skip one, two, put another door. I'm just gonna put a bunch of doors. I don't I don't care. Oh, whoops. What? Yeah, it's supposed to go there. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going to put it. Yeah, the building's not even. <laughs> it's all one block, but it, I don't care. It's just one. Whoa. Okay, so if the road goes that... What kind of a road is that? <laughs> uh, dang. These villagers be... Climbing mountains on their roads. <laughs> Alright. I tried to put a lot of light around here. So I could, uh, get all the spawn things to go. Dang, I just made, like, a weird whistling noise. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not right. More like this. There we go, that looks a lot better. Cool. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll put I'll put that there. I'll put that there. Then I'll put some lights. Right there, 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 boom, 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 boom. Cool. Now, what I was thinking about doing, I was trying to create like a runway here. It's going to be like this, and then it's just going to go through here to this building. But there was this huge hill here, and it was ginormous, and it was getting in the way of this uh, tower. So what I did is, I put TNT through the top of it, all the way down to the middle, and then I built, and then I carved out a huge square area, and I filled it up full of TNT, and then I blew it up, and it made that huge crater. I was like, whoops, I didn't even do that. And you can see it's still kind of blown up over here, so I just need to, I need to fix this. I guess I'll just, uh. Bring it out to here. I guess this will be the mining center. Oh, right here. Alright. Oh. Okay, that's all it's hooking up. Put some lights and then we put some glass. Cool. I guess we put a light there. We put a light there. 
I guess that'll be the mine, right? Over there. And then, I'd say maybe here, and here, and, uh, no. Probably right across here. This is going to be like where they get their equipment and stuff like that, and they put the emerald, their materials, in some of these rooms here. So, now I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what else to talk about. Oh yeah, I can put a light right there. Well, I'd say once I'm done with this area here, then I'll just be done with the video. I thought I was about to watch that creeper just walk through the door. I was like, what? A lot of people that want to become FBI agents out there watch ID channel <laughs> and then once you watch ID channel you'll start thinking like an investigator and an FBI agent or a police officer you'll start thinking you'll have that mindset you know and to be honest being able to think about stuff and being able to solve things it's just gonna change your life because it'll make you smarter and You'll think before you do stuff, and you know. Which is one reason why I want to become an FBI agent. Well, one of the biggest reasons is to have a successful life, you know. Yeah, you know, I'll be able to be smart. I'll be smarter. I'll be able to think about things and be organized. And, you know. I mean, I don't want to tell my parents this because, you know. I'm probably going to hear me talk about this because I am very obsessed with trying to become an FBI agent and a in the army and a police officer. And I try to get as much knowledge on it as I can. But I feel like if I tell my parents about it, they'll be like, you can't do it. And I know you won't do it because you always change your subjects and what you want to be. I never wanted to be a professional baseball player or nothing I just uh, I was just into it they thought I wanted to be a professional boxer I was just into it like I'm just trying to find a sport that I can do so I could you know get some friends and have a good time like I I was very big in skateboarding and I still am it's just I don't have a lot of skate parks skate skate parks skate parks in the area I'm in and I have to travel all the way to another area to go skateboarding and the skate park is very limited to what the, what they got it's like a few ramps and all that there's people there and you know I mean I like it whenever people's there cuz I'll have a good time and meet some new people but then I never see them again I live in South Carolina not not gonna point out my location but there ain't nobody, there ain't a lot of people down here that uh, 
you know, skateboards or like to do stuff than I do. So I have no like group of buddies, which is really all I want is a group of buddies. But <laughs> I be honest, I was like, you know what? I'm in the best position. If I'm lonely and I have, you know, no friends or nothing, I'm actually in the best position ever cuz I'm free to do whatever I want. I have no one to tell me otherwise or anything and I can do whatever I want with my life, you know. So I'm actually happy that I'm alone. But it would be nice to have some friends, you know, but it don't matter. I have some good conversations here and there with some you know, people at my school, I count them as friends, but, eh, I don't know, it's just complicated. I'm not really good at explaining things, or trying to, you know, explain stuff, I don't really know how to, like, I can't tell stories very well. Like, if I would have said that to somebody at my school that I'm bad at explaining things, I'll just bust out laughing. I'm not sure why. I don't understand it. Like, an example. I, I can't explain this very well, so don't make fun of me. So, I was told, this is what I understood that she told me. That I'm in a special class because of a, diso of a disorder that I have where my memory is very bad. So... I took this IQ test where she would read a paragraph to me or some kind of like sentence or something. I had to read it back and I would try and read it to her and I wouldn't remember the first sentence that she said. So example, she'd say a man went fishing on a Saturday noon at uh, 2 a.m. blah blah blah. I, wait, what? But I just said that was the worst example I've ever given. Okay, that example didn't make any sense. So a man went fishing one day at 2 p.m. It's random time. It just popped up in my head. And he caught 15 fish. Uh, Like, for example, I wouldn't remember the time or remember how many fish he caught but I remember everything else I'm like a man went fishing one day and I don't quite remember the time I'm he caught fish but I'm not sure how many he caught it's like that but I could only get read to me once so I can only hear it one time and then try and repeat it But since I told a friend of mine that I had that disorder, he just made fun of me. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I think it's because of how I said it, how I explained it, that I can't remember stuff well. I just don't, I don't know. But I have a, I have a hard time learning things and trying to do stuff because I can't remember what someone teaches me. Especially math because it's so complicated. I mean, I could eventually solve the math problem by myself, you know, just from messing around with it. And math is one of my favorite subjects, math and social studies. Because math, I think of it as like a puzzle solving game, really. It just makes my mind think and, you know, math just makes you smarter in every way, you know, because you're able to solve... uh math puzzle basically it's all what math is it's just puzzles and pieces on how to solve the problems and math I'd say is one of the helpful things I can use to become an FBI agent and social studies because what I'm learning in social studies now is how to read maps and stuff like that and I'll be very very helpful for becoming a uh, police officer and well, I'm thinking about becoming a soldier. I'm gonna be in the military for not too long, but a little while. Then after that, 
uh, still in my teen years, I'm going to become a police officer. I'm going to go through the academy and become a police officer. I'm going to be through there for a few years. After my teenage years, I'll become maybe an FBI agent. I don't know. I have, I have a long life to go. I'm not sure how long I'll be in the army. I'll just go with the flow. And once I'm in the army, I'll plan out how long I'll be there. Which, I heard the army made some people want to kill themselves. Because of how rough it was. But, <laughs> I'm, that makes me kind of scared. Because now I think I won't be able to handle the military, but... I'm gonna do my best because this is my dream and I'm gonna do whatever I can to accomplish that I can't let these thoughts just you know break me to pieces I gotta do what I gotta do has to be the man I want to become I use minecraft as like a place to think Really? Because as I'm thinking, I can build stuff and do things. I'm trying to form like my own government and city and stuff like that. Just for fun. I'd say, uh... I might split this up into parts. Like, I might make this one state and this is I think the state's gonna be from here I'll make the white line the border for the city because it's white so this right here is the border of the city it can only be here I'll make the rest like a country farm area Come around here. So I make it from here. I'm just gonna have to build up around this. Make it from here. All the way around there. And this is the city border. Oh, I still have a lot of land to go. Man, I made this way too big. Uh, This right here is a city area. Am I even here yet? No. That's the city area. This whole side right here is a city. I need to break that mountain right there. You know, I'll do it later. I don't care right now. So all that is the city. And then I might split this in half. Well, I mean, this is going to be the capital. All that right there is going to be the capital. And then I might split this in half. Between here. So that's all one place, and this is all one place. So it's going to be one big freaking state. Another state. Which is pretty decent. And then this one right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to call that one. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call any of these. I'm going to get rid of that village. Flatten out the land. 
I'm gonna make all this flat, all that flat, all that flat. Make everything flat from here to the border. Get rid of the water. And then once I'm up here at the border, I'm just gonna keep the water here. Make this like a uh, small town area. And then this right here is gonna become farmland and like a country area. So it's, this is gonna be a country area. That's gonna be a small town. And then this is gonna be the capital and the city and where the government is and everything else like that. But this right here is the uh, one of the main military bases. I mean it will be because I can make all this down here like a secret military base that you can get to from pressing like a button or lever what I'm thinking about doing is putting like a lever like in one of these conference rooms probably this one right here because of how weird it is and unspaced out put a lever maybe right there where you fall down here into this room if I can make it out Let's go make the room right here real quick. Well, I guess I'll catch y'all later and talk about how I'm going to make the city and my life in the next video. Alright, bye.